Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about undersampling. I've used three different cameras with one telescope, the William Optics Red Cap. So without further ado, let's get into it. Astro Tools have a fantastic calculator here, which helps you work out your, your sensor suitability to the, to the telescope. Um, I have three cameras. I've got a Nikon D750, which is a full frame. I've got the Altair 26C, and I've also got the Altair 183C. So what I'm going to do, using the William Optics Red Cat, I'm going to show you where they fit on the scale. Now, the, the Astro Tools calculator here gives you your your, your kind of calculation in arc seconds. Typically, you want the arc seconds to give you half of your seeing. So if you're in, um, as you are in the UK, OK seeing, which is between two and four arc seconds, um, you want your resolution to come out at around two or less. Nearer one is, will be absolutely brilliant. Um, if it's beyond that, you're going to be under sampling. So let's have a look at some some examples. So if I just type in here a red cat, and I'll start typing Nikon, and just look for my D750, there it is. So here you can see it is pretty much off the scale. It's nearly two times the seeing, which is not great. So that's going to be very, very oversampled. Now, if we look at the Altair, but they don't actually have the Altair listed, so I use the ZWO, which is the same, pretty much the same sensor. Look for the 2600. And it's coming a little bit, but again, it's still going to be an undersampled uh, combination for that particular scope. But if we look at the uh, the 183, it actually brings it right down, and it's just under that two second, uh, two arc, arc second result. So you know that's that's an acceptable combination for the red cap. If I was to put in my William Optics GT81 that I've got. Actually, that is actually a really, really good, really good combination. So it's just over one arc second. So the actual real good combination for that particular scope would be the 183 and the William Optics GT81. So I'm going to show you some now some examples on um, on Photoshop to to, to, to demonstrate where the uh, under sampling can occur. To try and show you this on an image, I've selected three images that I've taken with the three different sensors. Ideally, I would like to have used the same target, but you know what it's like in the UK. We have limited clear skies and limited opportunities. But I think the three that I've chosen do actually show this rather nicely. So the first one here is Andromeda, a really nice wide field shot taken with the Nikon DSLR. Pixel size on the Nikon is 5.97 microns. And if you can recall, it came out of the calculator at nearly five seconds per arc pixel. So the sacrifice here is the signal to noise will be really good. However, this will be offset with a slightly softer image and pixelated stars. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's great on a, on a wide field, but if you actually cropped into the, into the galaxy itself, you'll probably find it to be a little bit soft. And in where we pick this star here, uh, where is it? There we go. Um, this is one of the stars closely cropped in, and you can see here a really good example of um, undersampled. It's quite pixelated around the image. So ideal for wide field, not so much if you're going to if you're going to crop in for some, some for some detail. Next image here is the Heart and Soul Nebula, another wide field image taken this time with the Altair 26C, which has a pixel size of about 3.7 microns, and this came out of the tool at 3.1 arc seconds per pixel. As per the Nikon, the signal to noise will be really really good. However, if you wanted to clean you know, out closely crop in on the soul or the heart again it's going to give you a slightly softer image um, and you'll lose some lose on the sharpness so again the stars will appear quite pixelated here you go hopefully you can see that on youtube i know sometimes the, it does lose some of the detail but you can see the pixelation around the stars and that's basically because there isn't enough of star to fill the pixel so you get it very blocky like that now, those two examples, 
um, if you were going to be using your red cat with a dslr on a sky Kyder pro be great um, you can get away with guiding not being so so pinpoint on, on under sampled so there are some advantages but there are also some obviously some disadvantages now what i'm going to show you here is pallades this was taken with the red cat again and the 183 sensor the, the conditions were quite good that night and it was a, a new a fairly new moon so um, i made full use of that trying to get some some of the dust around pallades now this one came out the calculator at 1.98 arc seconds per pixel it's it's right on the edge of being okay so there will be a little bit of undersampling, but not as drastic as the other two and this one had relatively small pixels of 2.4 microns so let me just zoom in onto one of the stars i'll try to pick roughly the same size stars there is an element of undersampling, but nowhere near as, as significant as the other two two shots so the 183 and the uh, the red cat does make a really nice combination so what does it all mean basically you can't emphasize the importance enough of, of doing the right combinations if you do the wrong combinations you're going to be pulling in poor data um, the, the cleaner and easier the data is at the outset the easier it will be to um, to stack and, and uh, process and with everything you always get the other end of the scale which is over sampling obviously this is the reverse where the pixels are too small for the scope's focal length an image has been spread over too many pixels resulted in a soft and bloated image over sampling can actually increase your imaging time as you need to capture more noise across the pixels and get a fully resolved image you need to spend a lot more time on each and every target to get the correct signal to noise ratio they believe that typically three times more time is needed if your combination is over sampled obviously there's lots of things you can do to overcome this in post-processing you know people drizzle their images uh, you can use de deconvolution in pics and site as i said earlier though however the better the data from the outset the easier it is to process i really hope you found this video useful and that's all there is for me today thank you for watching and i hope to see you all soon and if you do like what you've seen please like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications when i publish new videos and I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and clear skies.